it really is like a needle drop. You take a piece of vinyl, whap it down, you throw the needle into an arbitrary place in the record. It's quite hard to do that with iTunes. You can shuffle, but it's always at the beginning of the song. So I set about making this thing I call the needle drop. And it kind of came to fruition after working together with my good friend, Lucky Paul. When he come, plays his looper, he likes to be playing in a certain key and be like, ooh, wouldn't it be cool to have some new inspiration, some sounds to add to this? So he categorized a lot of his iTunes library, essentially um, with that program, Mixed in Key, I think it's called. And uh, so all of his playlists are essentially in key. So he could call up something in a certain key and it would kind of join in the party, as it were. I thought, oh, that's a really cool idea. So it kind of got me to thinking, maybe I could make a Max patch inside Ableton. The primary function of it is to essentially um, play iTunes via MIDI and play various playlists as if you were dropping a needle on a record at a random position in the song and and have all of those playlists on individual notes essentially I, I downloaded the new Janelle Monet album for example and the name of the playlist is Janelle so what I do in my patch is I type Janelle into what is here C key I also have a Bon Iver like playlist on uh, you know the next key. There's all these different playlists. You can have up to 12, obviously, in the octave and uh, play them. It just jumps to a random track and then it gets the duration of the track and then it jumps to a random position in the track, knowing the duration. The one that's just been recorded will be sent to a, a simpler. I've been It pretty much worked. What you'll end up with is samples from the audio that just came in automatically put into little receiving simplers and chopped up. And every time you do it, one thing that's for sure is uh, you'll get new stuff because it is truly uh, throwing the dice. And the more tracks you have in the playlist, the more random it will be, obviously. You're, you're really hardly ever going to get repeats. So, yeah, it's a way of just stopping that blank slate phenomenon getting in your way. And uh, just be careful of the copyrights. Don't blame me. And you can also download this device. It's on uh, Max for Live. Get it because it's free. It doesn't work completely, but there's probably someone out there that's way better at programming than me that can take this, see the pot potential, and, and like maybe make it a little bit more potent. But uh, yeah, there you go. That's Needle Drop. Split, 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 split.